It's officially the 1st of December today, so I'm getting a little bit festive. <laughs> so I've got, my, I've got my toy out, I've got my toy motorhome out to play with, because it's nearly getting time for new toys. It's actually a little bit colder tonight in Devon. It's a bit frosty out there, so I've got my hat on, which I'm gonna have to take it off, because on the floor here, this DeLonghi is cooking me. Plus the fact I've got my <laughs> little booties on for uh, winter motorhome life. That's, uh, yeah. So anyway, back to the uh, program tonight. So the massive question is, people have said to us in the past, Joff, would you ever sell you, would you, would, would you what, what motorhome would you get next? Would, uh, what would you get next? And we were like, we don't know. What, we, we, don't, we don't really know. Are you ever going to change your motor room? We don't know. But we do know. So you guys need to keep posted on our YouTube channel because we are heading to Germany over Christmas and we are picking up another van. Oh my God, horror. Oh my God. Yeah, <laughs> it's shocking. <laughs> it's been Massive logistics, massive logistics, okay, and uh, yeah, so I'm not going to go too in depth at the moment, we're going to hang on, um, wait to get right on the pinnacle, and uh, we're going to take you guys with us and show you what's happened, okay, so uh, well, that's what's coming up. <laughs> You knew it all along. You knew it all along. <laughs> yeah, what I was just gonna say tonight, um, I just caught a little bit of the news earlier on and they were saying about, um, so that maybe house prices are starting to decline a bit and stuff like that um, in, the, in the serious world out there. And uh, anybody, any we, we sort of say to anybody, anybody thinking of buying a motorhome, um, so we've had this motorhome for over three years and it's just been the most incredible vehicle for us. Um, this, you invest in a motorhome. Um, if, and, and again, if there's anybody thinking about investing in a motorhomes, um, I know at the present time, motorhomes are difficult to get out of, the right specifications, there's been delays. Um, if we were ever going to get caught up on this backlog, it would be an absolute miracle um, to get back to what people want to order and, and, and stuff like that. It's been an absolute minefield. But um, what I can say is, uh, and the people who have got motorhomes, you know it's the best life. You know it's the best. The, and, and we've invested in a motorhome and the money has like stayed. The motorhomes are still commanding um, really good value for money. Um, and hopefully, you know, with vehicles, with cars, the depreciation, um, and obviously that used to be the fact with motorhomes, um, the depreciation on motorhomes. There's a lot of people um, that are um, that have had motorhomes in the past that maybe have, uh, um, but what the way we look at it, we this is your holiday home. People buy villas, they buy property abroad, uh, they invest in caravans, they invest in timeshares, um, all this kind of different scenario. Um, and I'm just gonna sort of say for anybody that's, um, like I say, looking to buy a camper van, um, what we recommend. <laughs> so I was just setting up my little Heimer here and uh, he's getting a bit rough and ready now. Uh, look, the uh, bikes are uh, at a bit of a, um, bit of a, 
yeah, I think we reversed into something with it. Um, but anyway, just looking at this van, I'm just literally um, putting the awning out and uh, obviously taking out of the garage. And uh, let me just move around the other side a minute, because this is actually, um, you've obviously seen my um, little slide out design in the back that um, is interchangeable from motorhome to motorhome. So uh, all the things that you put in your motorhome can be uh, easily swapped if you go for a similar um, layout of motorhome. Uh, but yeah, this has got the little slide out in the back look and they um they had their uh, um the table and chairs uh, put on mounted on the slide out so you can just pull it off pull it out and uh, easy and we recommend anybody um that is actually looking to buy a motorhome the garage is a very important thing to consider uh for your storage of wet items your coats this stuff tables chairs cat axe, barbecue equipment it all goes in there uh, without overloading your uh, motorhome i'm just wondering what that is is that um, some um, grip mats <laughs> and grip mats grip mats snow chain snow shovel this time of year in there um, the other great thing is obviously an awning on your van so obviously in the summer uh, it gives you that little shade option plus the fact if you do get a little shower of rain you can sit outside here uh, still under cover in a little shower of rain let's just move the uh, the chairs there and uh, get your little table in in uh, so you can still get a little bit of shelter under there even if you get a little bit of rain but guys if you're new to it, don't forget your awning tie-down straps. Because if the wind picks up, you don't want this flipping over on the roof and doing all sorts of damage to the side of your van. This has actually got a nice little storage box on the top lot, which is uh, always quite handy. The Fiami do one that hangs on the back. Um, this has got a, a ladder stowed away at the back and obviously you can take your push bikes on the back of this model if you want. Um, yeah, it's so, um, quite a nice little... Uh, little vehicle wasn't it um yeah it's all going on uh so the other thing i was actually um just open the door there and a lot of the like this motorhome it's got a a lot wider door these um yeah on the on the heimer this uh, <laughs> on the heimer that's the heimer we we're looking at the model of um heimer is, is, is joff got a heimer on his mind um yeah but um the doors in these continental vans um is a hartle door and uh, they're a lot wider than a uh for example a swift or a best car they're a lot wider there's a, a really good access um width on this style door on this on this style of van um yeah so keep an eye on that one if you're looking for access some of the uh, the english vans the access is quite narrow on them doors so it's um, definitely something else to consider um so this vehicle here here this Heimer is a A-class vehicle uh, so it's got the big windscreen and mostly uh, these A-class vehicles may be having a drop down bed to give you a big bed up here at the front um, as well as possibly a bed at the back as well so it, um, they become very spacious at the front and give you good, really good vision. The only drawback with these big windscreens they're uh, quite expensive so if you do get a stone make sure your insurance company knows that um, you've got a, a different windscreen to the normal run-of-the-mill Fiat, for example, Ford Transit windscreen, Peugeot, yeah, Citroen, um, very sim exactly the same as a Fiat. Um, yeah, something else to consider. So, uh, yeah, just take, literally just taking a random look around this Heimer um, and just to see if we like it, really. But, um, yeah, uh, so... There's that little, um, yeah, so what am I actually talking about tonight, Joff? <laughs> camper vans. We always talk about camper vans, don't we? We always get back to the same subject. And basically, again, we go winter camp. It's toasty in here. Um, I've got my, like I say, I've got my little DeLonghi on at the moment. We could put the blown air on. We've got plenty of gas in the, uh, the gas bottles. And um, it's warm. It's comfortable. It makes you feel like you just want to put the kettle on, make yourself a nice cup of coffee and chill out on the bed. Relax. It's quiet. Um, and basically, anybody that's looking to 
enter the motorhome world, take it from us. We've done hotels, we've done all that stuff. <laughs> we've done all that. And this baby is the best life. And you can just, all your belongings that you wanna take. I just love my Bluetooth speaker. You can put some nice Christmas tunes on. You can get your gin out. You can get your beer out of the fridge. You can get your ice cubes out of the freezer box. You can sit down. You can enjoy an incredible meal. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it tonight, actually, guys. I'm just gonna wrap it up there. Um, uh, yeah, just a sort of general and we have some new subscribers and uh, basically we want to welcome them people aboard to our channel and uh, we endeavor as we always to bring you the best videos of motorhome travel plus the fact just recently just look at our little back catalog of um we've just done a few little uh, winter wonderland kind of style styly things we did the uh, tour bay um light trail uh we've done the um the, the the train of lights that runs from Paynton to Kingswear. We've just done the Christmas market at, um, and down to Winter Gardens with the big uh, uh, Ferris wheel at Bournemouth. So uh, if you're getting a bit festive, festive in the festivities a little bit, like I am, um, check out them videos. It might give you some ideas of uh, first, uh, Christmas markets to go to places. Uh, and don't forget, we've been to Berlin, we've been to Hamburg, where there's a back catalogue of uh, uh, road trips to um, these uh, places places like that that are uh, pretty interesting around this time of year. Berlin Christmas, amazing. Um, hey, what camper van are we getting next? <laughs> I'm gone, see you later. <laughs>